me Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip is actually about luxury coloring, my friends. You, I know you must think I'm completely and totally nuts and you've probably heard your fill about coloring books, but this one is different. When you're a crazy art nerd like myself, this is incredibly appealing. And what I'm talking about is Pepin Press makes a series of coloring pads that are exquisite. <laughs> I mean, you have not seen anything like this. They come in several, several different designs. There are 16 different designs in each pad that you get, but what's different about them is that this is not your standard coloring book. These are on acid-free, 90 pound artist, like watercolor paper. The designs are absolutely unbelievable. And one of the things I love about Pep and Press is that the designs that are on the inside don't have those big, gaudy, thick black lines. So this is more uh, interpretive so that you can cover the lines with media if you want to change it around a little bit. And you can actually get some really fantastic kind of ideas. Now, if you've never colored before and you think that, that you're a little bit too highbrow for this, I'm telling you, you're not. Because coloring can be really, really great. Um, it's uh, a great way to lower your blood pressure, kind of get your mind in the um, process of making art. It's actually really, really good for your brain. It's kind of like a low risk or no risk kind of artistic exercise. Plus it's a great format to test out color combinations, play with media a little bit. I've actually done pen and ink versions of, of coloring pages where it's just black and white and I'm, I'm playing around with positive and negative shape. Coloring books are more than just, you know, crayons and stuff like that. Plus, the thing that's interesting about these are that once you finish them, they're more than just, you know, stuff in your coloring book. The pages come out very easily because it's bound on one side, just like gummed on one side like a pad. And I can show you this one page that I've actually already cut up and been doing stuff with. So my daughter and I were playing around with this one doing all kinds of fun stuff. So this has watercolor and metallic watercolor and gel pen on it and, you know, just all kinds of stuff that we were messing around with. But the thing about pep and press is because this is actual artist paper, you can do stuff with this later. Um, and so uh, like I brought a couple examples, like here's um, like some origami that I did with, with it when it was done. I also make like can make like, little gift tags out of these things. Plus these little little pieces are so gorgeous once they're done that this could easily be used as either an inspiration jumping off point or could be used in collage. Acid free artist paper uh, people so there's no reason this couldn't be incorporated into a finished piece. Take a look at Pep and Press coloring books, which is really a pad. They are fantastic. They are gorgeous and they are so much fun. Treat yourself to something a little fun and out of the ordinary. We're sure that you will enjoy.